Good day, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May, and welcome to Online Escuela. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today, we will discuss elements. So, what is an element? Element is a substance that is made from one kind of atom only. We have here purple circles and green squares. Both of these represents how an element looks like. Each circle of purple element is of the same shape, size, and color. Same thing with the other one. Each square is of the same color and size. This means that an element is made of only one type or kind of atom. Because when one atom is different, or when these two elements combine, they will form another substance called compound. Based on record, there are at least 118 elements and around 90 of those are naturally occurring or can be found in nature. These elements were listed and arranged into a table called Periodic Table of Elements, and this is how it looks like. In a periodic table, there is the period and the group. There are six or seven periods and 18 groups. Period are the elements arranged from left going to the right. So the elements belonging to period one are the hydrogen and the helium. Period 2 starts with the lithium going to the neon. Period 3, we have the sodium going to the argon. Then next, we have period 4, period 5, period 6, and we have the period 7. Group are the elements arranged from top the bottom. So we have group 1, group 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and lastly, 18. So again, there are seven periods and 18 groups. Let's try identify the group and period number of a specific element. For example, we have zinc. Zinc is located in group 12 and period 4. So, Zinc is found in group 12, period 4, or G12, period 4. Next, tungsten. It is located in group 6, period 6, or G6, P6. Then, bromine. Bromine is located in group 17 and period 4. So bromine is found in G17 and P4. Another obvious appearance of periodic table is being colorful. As you can see, each element has a color and that color has a meaning. For example, these elements with light yellow color are all called non 
metals. These elements belonging inside the red box with the same colors are called transition metal. Another one, this group, the lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium are all called alkali metals. Next to that, these elements are called alkaline earth metal. Then, this group of metals are called post-transition metal. Then, this group of elements are called metalloids. These five elements are called halogens. And lastly, this group belonging to group 18 are called noble gases. Moving on, each element is enclosed inside a box with very important information. This is the element symbol. Under that is found the element name. This information is its atomic weight and this one is the atomic number. Finally, in writing the symbol of an element, there are rules to be followed. Elements with one letter symbol should be written in capital letter just like this one, the hydrogen. Capital letter H is its symbol. Elements with two letter symbol should be written as first letter should be in capital letter and the second letter should be written in small letter. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this video. Till next time, bye!